Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Um, couple things. This vlog actually is going to be sort of guided because I have something to actually do instead of just kind of talking into the void. So I'm excited about that. So to preface that, let me begin by saying that I have been on the internet for quite a long time and I've always been a fan of Jeffree Star. Like back in his like MySpace music making days. And naturally now being into makeup, I've always really wanted to try his cosmetics, but I've never been able to justify it. Not because it's like more expensive than like, you know, the other makeup I buy, but just because I have so much makeup. And I don't know, because it's online and you don't you can't really get it uh, in stores, I'm like, mmm, I'll just wait. But Jeffrey announced, I want to say last week, he was doing Mystery Valentine's Day boxes. So you could either get six items in a small box for $40, or you could get nine items, including like a shirt, in a large box for $75. So I seized that opportunity. I got right on the website at like 1 p.m. sharp when the, like the pre-sale started. And I just got this in the mail today. So I'm very excited. It's my Valentine's Day gift to myself. And I've been wanting to open this since I got home a couple hours ago, but I figured that, you know, what's better than making a video about it? So you can see my live reactions um, when I open it. And also to preface, um, I tried to stay away from looking at what other people got online. I did see some people saying that the boxes were similar. But I tried to um, stay away from watching any videos or reading any posts that kind of revealed everything just in case. So I have no idea what's in here. It's supposed to be nine products. Um, maybe I'll try some stuff on. I mean, I don't have work tomorrow. And I can always wash my face and shower afterwards. So without further ado, let's begin. I also do want to say that um, I really didn't wear that much makeup today. I woke up. Well, the funny thing is I woke up early to work out. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I woke up and I was like, mmm, I think I'd rather just sit and drink tea. So I did that. And um, I ended up sitting around for too long. <laughs> and before I knew it, I only had like 15 minutes before work. So I was like, okay, I can't do my full face and makeup. So I just did like concealer and did a little bit of um, eyeshadow. No brows, no mascara, no contour, no foundation, and I did a little bit of lip color, but you know, I survived. I thought it was going to be worse than what it was because, you know, I'm very used to going out with a full face of makeup. Even though, like, before I got into makeup, I used to go in, um, I used to go out bare faced all the time, like, in college and stuff, like, to classes. Now that I'm in the real world and I have, like, a professional, professional quote unquote job, I get, you know, antsy about showing up anywhere barefaced. Also because of my complexion, because I'm really pale and I look pretty sick a lot of the time. Oh, here we go. I, I brought scissors in case because I wasn't sure how easy this was going to be to open. Here we go. And it's all nicely folded and wrapped. So, without further ado, ooh, Supreme Frost Highlighting Powder, Frozen Peach. Okay, obviously we're going to swatch this shit because I'm excited. Ooh, I've always wanted one of Jeffree Star's highlighters. Oh, this is pretty. You can see right here. Um, I should probably lift up the, the cover so, you know, there's no reflection. Where's my camera? There it is. Beautiful. Oh, I'm excited. I'm always down for more high. Oh, this is beautiful. I am very much here for this. So I don't know if you can see the swatch that well. I'll probably have to do another video in the daytime because it's so dark, but it is really nice. Maybe I'll try swatching it on my cheek. You probably still can't see, but Wow, okay. This is amazing. So, let's go for number two. Ooh. Another highlighter. Oh, I'm so excited. Skin Frost. And this one's in Lavender Snow. Girl, I'm gonna be glowing for days. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. 
So, this is very nice. Oh, this is like even shinier. Holy shit. This is like so nice. This one you can probably see because it's very... Wow. I'm trying this cheek. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, I, that's just blinding. Oh, I like this. I definitely like this better than the first one. I don't know what the difference is because I haven't honestly looked into um, the differences in his product. Where did I put the other one? Oh, right here. So that's Skin Frost versus Supreme Frost. It's bigger. It seems to have a little more of like a um, cakey texture, which makes the application, I think, a little better. Whereas the other one felt very, very dry, and I was kind of like, eh, like, let's get more product in my fingers. All right. Oh, I feel some lip stuff. Oh, this is exciting. This is diamond. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh la la. Just gonna swatch the same arm. Keep it going. So this diamond color looks like a really nice kind of, um, what is that color? Periwinkle. It's kind of like a blue-purple. You can see that right here. I don't know if I'm going to try them all on my lips just because putting them on and taking off the lipstick is a lot of effort. And I don't think I have all my, um, I don't have makeup wipes on me, but, you know, who knows? Maybe after I unbox all the products, I'll do it anyway. So that's really cool. What's this? Velour Lip Liner. Unicorn Blood. Ooh. I have been eyeing that Unicorn Blood shade, so that's really nice. God. This is amazing. Like, Jeffree Star, like, you really hooked it up. And look at, look at that. I love this. I love the design. You can see the little logo. Oh my gosh. And I really honestly don't own a lot of lip liner. And this is a pretty dark, versatile red. Let's swatch that. Oh, that's beautiful. Definitely going to be using that because I love a dark red lip. Okay, Posh Spice. Ooh. God, I'm going to have so much fun tomorrow. Like, it's my day off. I'm just going to be, like, playing around with makeup all day. Oh, this is a nice nude. I'm always, I'm always here for nudes. See, like, I love that lavender one, um, diamond, but I don't know how often I'm going to be able to use it because I work at a bank, and if I showed up wearing lavender lipstick, they'd be like, um, you need to go home and change. Actually, one time I showed up wearing sneakers that were black, and they weren't really flashy, you know, surprisingly for my gay ass, and they sent me home because it was unprofessional, so Lord only knows what would happen if I walked in with a purple lipstick, but let's swatch this. Oh, it's so creamy, and it applies so nice. Oh, wow. Okay. I gotta stop saying wow. It's like the only word I know how to say. Let me see that right underneath. A really nice brown. This one I might have to try on because... Ooh. Okay, so, so far we're one, two, three, four, five products in. Four to go. Ooh. Okay, this is a lip ammunition so this one isn't liquid it's gonna be just a regular lipstick I don't know if there's a um oh, it's like a bullet amazing um I don't even know what you call it matte lipstick but oh this is great I love this can't go wrong with pink the name is called Jeffrey's girl which I'm here for I definitely would say I'm a Jeffree star girl okay what have we got here? Another Velour Liquid Lipstick. This one is Dream House. It looks like it could be metallic or shiny, which I'm excited about. And it is! Oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking love metallic shit. Look at this. This is beautiful. So gonna swatch this baby. I think this one I'm gonna have to try on. Oh my god. Oh, look at her. That is amazing. God, 
Oh, best $75 ever spent. I got a pop socket. You know what? I could probably use that. I never wanted to buy one because they're like obscenely expensive on their own, but there we go. And last but not least is the clothing item that they did promise. So I'm very excited to see what this is. I like the color already. It's crimson. Can't relate. Oh, you best believe I'm be wearing this else, uh, else outside. I don't know why I said else. I've kind of been spending lots of these days speaking in Italian and also in English, or I should say more writing in Italian and English. So sometimes I try and talk and I'm, my brain's just like, what are you trying to do? But no, so that was my haul. I'm very excited. And you know what? Fuck it. I am going to try on the lipstick. There's only four of them. So I'm going to start with the pretty pink one. So... Oh my god. Wow. I can already hear y'all like bitch back at it again with the wows. And also in case you were wondering or noticed, this is my fuzzy sweater of the night. I chose it. I actually bought it in the store because the colors remind me of like the lesbian colors and I was like, gotta represent. Mmm. I like this. I think it's kind of hard to like see because there's like the giant mirror and the lighting isn't the best, but there's a nice, nice sheen to it. Alright, I have like one dried out makeup wipe, but it's going to suffice. My problem is every time I take out a lipstick, I always, I always like smear it all across my face. And then I look like a little kid who's broken into like a jar of like strawberry jam and it's just all over my mouth. Okay. I'm going to try Posh Spice next because this is a very work-friendly color. Ooh. Already feeling some very radically different vibes. Oh, but I like it. Ooh. Don't mind me just like making faces at the camera. I really like this. I feel like the formula is very hydrating too. And like it's going to stay on even with my dry ass chapped lips because it is the middle of February. Alright, that's a win. I can't keep track of all the shit on I have way too much lipstick. I didn't need this, but I then again I did. Alright, so I keep forgetting I'm on camera. And now I'm like resorting back to my weird ass behavior. Alright, we're trying Diamond. Um, fair warning, I'm gonna look really ridiculous with this. But. Ooh. This shit makes me feel vogue. You know, it's not bad. I mean, I obviously need to wear it with other makeup because I just kind of look like I have frostbite right now, but I think it'd be really fun to pair with like the right outfit. So maybe something denim. 
All right, and we have Jeffrey's girl left, but I gotta wipe off this makeup first, so. The pigment is really incredible. And you best know I'm a slut for pigment. I like bright things. All right, let's go. I don't want to break it. I might always fucking break these lipsticks because I like push down too hard and it's like, ooh. Mmm. It's going on way better than expected. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. <laughs> you know what? Today at work, I had like some spinach in my teeth, and nobody told me until one customer came up like two hours later, and he was like, you have something in your teeth, and I looked at my coworkers, and of course I work with a bunch of men, and I'm like, why didn't you say something? Like, why didn't you help a girl out? But, let's see. Playing around with this lighting. I like this pink. It's bright. But it's not like in your face over the top. I have this one from Too Faced right here. Actually, it's melted candy. It's a lot of fun. I like the shade, but it comes out very bright. I'm gonna swatch it because you'll. Yeah, like it's almost a little too bright. So like, I have to be careful what I wear it with and when I wear it because, you know, going overboard with makeup is a thing. But. Yeah, that looks like that was it for the haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I didn't have a um, better quality camera. I'm also sorry that it's late and I'm tired and not full of my usual energy. But um, that was really exciting for me to do. Um, I definitely think in the future I'd like to do more mystery boxes or subscription boxes and unbox it with you guys. Because it's, I don't know, it's more fun. It's more fun to do it like and share the experience with someone instead of just opening it and keeping it to myself. I meant that to sound way better than it actually sounds, but I think you catch my drift. So, with that being said, I'm signing off. I'm going to make myself a cup of hot tea and probably watch a movie if I'm not too tired. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching.